where this point, how far this point is to each and every one of those points. So we need to connect them again. And this time we'll use the same line segment, which is start and end point, starting at this point, which is the point attractor and ending at these points. As you can see, they all change in size and that's what's going to make the change in height happen. So now notice that this length is shorter than this one and therefore the height of it is going to be shorter than this one. So if you see that it will change as soon as I move the point and that's how we create a point attractor or the ability to have the pattern change referencing one point.